Hi, in this video, I'm illustrating the idea of bit that you have read about in the textbook and you have a couple homework questions on. Um, so bit is, it's something that happens with all waves, but you can notice it in particular with the sound waves. So I wanted to use this software called Audacity. It's by the way, a free software that you can download. A lot of audio professionals use it to um, illustrate what this bit, uh, bit sounds like and where it comes from. So let me use this to generate a pure tone of, let's call it 320 hertz. That's probably not going to be too annoying. Uh, I'm going to make it last about 10 seconds. That should be good enough. All right. So that's my pure tone of about 10 seconds. It sounds like this. All right. Now, what if if I generated a pure tone of, um, so that was 320 hertz. What if I generate pure tone of 325 hertz? Generate tone 325 hertz. Would you be able to hear the difference? Let's give it a try. I muted the first one. This is the second one. All right. Back to the first one, solo. Can you hear the difference? Not really, right? At least I can't. Now watch this. If I play both at the same time, can you see that there's a um, two different uh, waves with the two different uh, uh, frequencies. Let me be one of them. That's what beat sounds like. Uh, this can be used to tune instruments. So this was with a five hertz difference. Let me generate one more track with, um, well, with, let's make it very precise, 0.5 hertz difference. So I'm going to generate, oops, generate tone. Um, 320.5. Let's just hear what it sounds like. You get this wobbling sound in about two second interval. That's the period for 0.5 Hertz. Um, that tells you when two sound sources are almost nearly at the same frequency. Uh, when they're exactly at the same frequency, then no more wobbling sound. So as that wobbling sound gets, uh, uh, the period gets longer and longer, you know they are getting closer and closer in frequency. Uh, let me end with uh, this one last demonstration. Um, I can, oh, I think these tracks are too big. Um, let me first make the amplitude a little bit smaller. Let me amplify minus 6 dB. Um, all right. And let me... Um, I can actually zoom in and show you what the waveforms look like. They look like sine waves. Um, let me mix and render them. So general tracks, mix and render to new track. So that you will be able to see visually uh, what, the, the, what you are hearing uh, looks like. So this is what their mixed track looks like. When I mute both of them, this sounds like what you're hearing before. And so this is the visual representation of, well, what those two tracks do add up to. So that's a bit. Until next video, bye.